Time to discuss the Green Bay Packers. Uh, they didn't completely screw up this offseason. Um, obviously, in the draft, the, the, the first round of the draft for the Packers didn't exactly go the way everybody wanted it to go. But the Green Bay Packers and cornerback J- Jahari Alexander, Jair, excuse me, Jair Alexander, are finalizing a four year contract extension worth up to $84 million. And it's a $30 million signing bonus, which I think is like record breaking or something like that. So in 2022, his base salary is going to be uh, $31 million. Now, this puts Jair Alexander at the top of the top paid corners in the NFL. Uh, below him, you have t- was Jair Alexander annually is going to be making 20, $21 million. Below him is going to be Denzel Ward. With 20.1 million, Jalen Ramsey with 20 million, Marlon Humphrey with 19 and a half million, and Marshawn Lattimore uh, at the fifth spot with uh, 19.4 million. Now, I, you know, it's it's funny because I know Xavier Howard just ended up getting paid, and they made his contract fully guaranteed. So I thought they ended up having him overleap everybody, considering the fact all his money is going to be guaranteed. Uh, but anyway, uh, Jair Alexander last year wasn't very um, promising due to a shoulder injury. And I strongly believe the reason why he ended up getting getting paid was because of his performance in the conference championship versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He almost literally single handedly won the football game. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers uh, didn't didn't uh, fulfill his duty as 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 the uh, as the goat. and. Um, just going back, Jair Alexander in the fourth quarter, he ended up having having to pick off Tom Brady two times. And honestly, I feel like that's the reason why he ended up getting the bag. But in the past four seasons, Jair Alexander has recorded over 188 total tackles, 48, 44 pass deflections, five interceptions, three fumble recoveries, and two forced fumbles. So a pretty productive corner. Me personally, I'm I'm I, I like Jair Alexander because of the fact that he's a physical corner and he's very versatile to be ir- irrechangeable, where he can be out there on the on the boundary and go up against your best guy, or do you need him to go in the slot? Now a lot of corners, not a lot of corners in the league can do both in man-to-man coverage. So I lo- I love Jair Alexander for that in his game. Uh, but all around, I think I'm 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 on board with the contract. Uh, because he's just going to get better as a corner. And really right now, the only three corners that I would probably put over Jair Alexander right now was probably Jalen Ramsey, of course. Um, Ty, um, excuse me. Oh, my goodness, goodness gracious. Uh, Traver- Traverius White. I couldn't even think of his name to save my life. Traver- Traverius White. And maybe that's going to be tough because Stefan Gilmore has been on, the, was, been on the decline over the last couple of years. I like Xavier Howard a lot. He's up there due to his uh, his ability to create takeaways. Um, man, I, I really can't think of any off the top of my head, but I, I but but I think right now Jalen Ramsey he's the standard, and then J- Jair Alexander is going to be a close second, a very very close second because he's up there. He can, he he does his thing uh, guarding the boundary and in the slot. I gotta give I gotta give kudos to that. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't care what you say. Nah, for the bay. Nah, 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 for the bay. Nah, nah, for the bay. Nah, we don't hear what you say. Nah, for the bay. Fire!